So um, I guess it all started when I was like seven or eight years old. I would put my family in these little skits and I'd kind of write them, but not really. I'd just kind of give them scenarios and tell them to like go up there and act it. And I guess that's really what started to get me into like uh, filmmaking. I made my first movie in seventh grade. It's called Attack of the Killer Monkey. It was completely ridiculous and far-fetched, but uh, it's still close to my heart today. I also, I also used to make these uh, documentaries at school, kind of like documenting the last day of school. But um, for the most part, film is just a fun thing I do. I mean, it still is something fun I do, but uh, I guess the seventh grade was when I could really start calling myself a filmmaker. years, kind of like through my 8th grade, 9th grade, 10th grade years, I just kind of made these little montages on my computer because I never really had the resources to make like an all-out movie. So just a bunch of random film clips and music put together trying to make some sort of emotional effect. You know, there's something I didn't tell you, Franz. I met your mother 17 years ago in Tahiti. Don't you look at me! But I guess what really like reignited my passion for film, outside just like a little hobby, must have come at the end of my sophomore year. We had this religion project, and we had to make a movie about so social morality. And uh, me and a bunch of my friends decided, well, we should make a movie for it. And we decided to call the movie How to Grow a Conscience, and it's basically just a ridiculous, far-fetched movie about morals and things like that. I tried to add some serious stuff in there, but it was really a comedy, and I think that's probably my best thing I did to date. My spare time, I like acting, I do acting, the musicals and the plays at school, and I drum, I'm in marching band, and I play drum set, and drum set's one of my biggest things because I've been doing it for years, my dad's done it, so I guess it's kind of a family tradition, if you could call it that. I'm also really into writing. I've been writing ever since like the second grade. It's been one of my favorite things to read and write. And I guess the arts is just kind of my thing. Not all the arts. I'm not. I can't draw or anything very well. It's not really my foray. But um, I think music may, is probably my biggest inspiration. It's kind of, I don't. I don't know why. It's just I've always loved music. And I'm in a band, and they're probably some of the best friends I have right now because we're always together and we're writing and just being creative and being creative is kind of what I like to do. But what I like about film is that it mixes all of the stuff. You have imagery, motion, sight, hearing stories. I mean, it mixes everything that I'm really into, and I think, I don't know, it's just, 
it's my thing. I don't know, I wouldn't say it's my thing. I wouldn't even say I'm not good at it, but I just love film and I love making movies and like creating emotions and like sharing the things I can do with other people. And I'd say that for the most part is why I'm into film and why I'm into the arts overall.